Well, hello everyone. Nice sunny day. It's Sunday afternoon here, just making our plans for the week. Um, just kind of want to show you what's going on here in my work plans this week. I'm still waiting for my tractor back from Kubota. It hasn't arrived yet, but you can see my garden plot. Greenhouse has to be moved because a new building is going up there and it will come to the into the garden a little bit. And we've been increasing the garden size for quite some time. So it's kind of taken up a lot of, of my backyard, which isn't very big right now. And uh, that has 13 50 foot rows for our garden. So my next project here around the uh, house and stuff, as you can see, is behind me. <laughs> I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, just dropped all these trees this evening. And uh, anyway, um, it only took me five minutes. I just wanted to get them down so that I could pick at them um, after fishing as, as I get in each evening anyway. Uh, I cut down about seven spruce and four birch trees here. So that'll give us a little bit of firewood. And I also will have um, a couple of sticks of lumber for the sawmill over there. Anyway, and, uh, and I hope when the tractor gets back to stump this area here um, behind me. Um, those stumps have been there for 20 years since I, since I cleared that spot shortly after I built the house. Um, I cut them down about two years after I built the house, I think, anyway. So, so that's kind of what I'm up to and uh, just kind of debating. Um, some of these stumps are, are kind of big, you know, um, they're older. I'm just not sure if my grapple root rake will uh, be able to dig them out well enough, or even if the bucket will. I'm just, I really don't want to have to spend money for uh, uh, a tree rooting implement. It's just, you know, it's got a sharp pointy nose that cuts the roots and digs underneath them. They're not overly expensive, but they're like a thousand bucks though, and uh, $300 shipping or so to get it to me here from Ontario. I don't, I don't know if I could get one local. But anyway, um, that's going to be my project after fishing, lobster fishing each evening. So uh, as if we don't have a long enough day, but I figured if these trees were down, I could come out and block a little bit up and the boys are, will haul the firewood over to the workshop anyway. So that's the plan where you can see where I'm relocating from there. And this was woods. I kind of cleared this out the last few years, uh, but about five trees died here last year. I had to clean out of here anyway. They came down in a, well, they didn't come down in a storm. They just all died. All five of them at the same time, one spring, they didn't sprout or they just turned brown. So anyway, and uh, so I think it's just time to, I did plant some oak trees and stuff in there, but uh, I think I'll just re-dig them up and move them to a new location anyway. So, so we have to make room for our new storage building and, uh, um, when you have a fishing business and stuff, you know, uh, I don't have my own shop. I'm still using dad's from when he retired, but it's on his property. So, you know, if he ever sells a house, I need a building anyway. So it's to the point where, where even with what building he has, it, it just, it just doesn't hold everything. <laughs> so I use that. I have a 26 by 40 full of stuff. I have a hundred tra lobster traps stored at my, my 80 year old uncle's in his barn. We have stuff in Dad's workshop. My garage is full, so and it's not useless stuff. It's all stuff that I need. So, but anyway, so that's going to be my project for the week. Um, I'll keep you posted as to how it goes. And uh, anyway, you guys have a have a great week. <laughs>